Hey, this is Scott Cunningham. Hello. <laughs> As a worship leader, I get excited about uh, being able to kind of facilitate an environment of worship where people can connect with Jesus in a, in a very real way that's undistracting and that's, that's significant. I grew up at a Christian home. Um, my parents were the ones that were, again, instrumental in uh, bringing us up in the Lord. I mean, I remember my mom trying to teach me guitar when I was younger, and um, I, uh, I wanted to learn, but I didn't really have, at the time, I would think I was probably a little too hyperactive and wanted to play the drums really bad, so my dad used to take me to concerts. Um, at a young age, I think that was what really inspired me, is my, my parents kind of giving me, exposing me to some of that stuff. There's these kids in this <laughs> a blue uh, uh, a blue singing songbook, you know, in blue tights, <laughs> and dancing around and singing it, and it just got huge. Vengeance is mine, save the Lord, Romans 12, 19. Our parents appreciated this music that was both biblical, it was the word of God, and they're singing it to their hearts as a young age, and so it would just pack out. After high school, the Lord kind of allowed things to kind of fall apart in my life, where I was still at a time in my life, music became like the, the idol in my life, uh, relationship I was in, and those things became way too important. And so um, the Lord allowed it to all kind of fall apart to where all I had left was the Lord. At that point, it felt like it was kind of the moment of surrender in my life. And it was kind of the Lord stripping away all that stuff um, that it began to kind of rebuild the foundation of the truth of God's Word, the grace of God, even after a major failure. As a Christian, you know, the Lord began to kind of um, just rebuild on that foundation of what my parents had poured into me as a young man. At that season, I was, you know, kind of really searching, you know, what is it I'm supposed to do with my life? And I was working at a cabinet shop, building cabinets and cutting wood and listening to the radio and listening to, you know, Brian Broderson and, and John Corson and Pastor Chuck Smith on the radio and, and just, and my heart began to really um, burn to know the Word of God. I was like, man, I want to know the Bible like they do. And I, the Lord began to confirm I'm supposed to go to Bible college. So I was at Bible college going, Lord, what am I going to do with my life? What do you want me to do? What's your heart? And, and as I would begin to grow, he, the next step would come up and he would reveal what that would be. <laughs> I was always looking for somebody to come up and just say, God has anointed you for ministry, He's called you to the ministry, you are anointed to lead worship, or you're anointed to teach the Bible. And it was never, it was never that. It was just a one step at a time, Jesus kind of through the word, my devotional time, just saying, follow me, trust me, just next step, this, follow me here. I met my wife actually at college, and that was the next step. Um, my, my beautiful wife, five girls later, <laughs> five daughters later, I would have never saw that coming too. So the Lord's gracious. <laughs> As a worship leader, I get excited about just to communicate uh, the love of God, the truth of God, the grace of God, in the glory of God. I think directly connected to the church coming together is the, the significance of the presence of God, where the Lord's at work in all these areas inside of our hearts where, you know, that, you know, He's just doing that we could never, you know, try to make happen. We just can, you know, do our best to point people to Jesus and the Lord is working in the midst of that. I'm really excited about Christian Fest. Shout the news to everyone. It's a new day. Has come. Jesus saves. Getting a chance to watch what the Lord has done through the years, and I think uh, seeing the Lord kind of even even focus the vision even more, kind of turning into something that you can see the Lord just changing it. I think there's an equipping element uh, of the church um, to do the work of the ministry by just coming teaching the Bible and and you know great times of fellowship and, and worship together. 
it's also evangelistic in that way, you know, it's the gospel's going out, people can bring unsaved friends, and there's, and there's a real um, family environment. So it's all that together, I don't know, it's super, super neat to me. I, I get really excited every year to go back and um, see what the Lord's doing. And... Hey, this is Scott Cunningham. Hope to see you at Creation Fest this year.